During the automation welding with robots in large quantities workshop, the biggest problem or pain of the workshop owners is that, you know, all the robots are programmed before you put in the production or the everyday production starts. Well, the thousand pieces of the workpiece are not exactly the same when they come from the last procedure after cutting or assembling or clamping for the robots. So the problem will be that the robots will move as they program while the workpiece they weld are different every time. So this causes a big failure when, you know, in the end of the day you check uh, 1,000 pieces that you finished today and probably 10% or 20% of them are unqualified or they lost the welding pass because they are not the same in the size. So uh, the only solution to solve this problem is that to use seam tracking sensor with the robots dur during the welding. Well, it was very expensive in the past. And now we are coming today to introduce one of our seam tracking sensors that is one tenth of the cost of the, cost of the traditional seam tracking. And I will explain that how it works and they have many models and how to choose them according to your workpiece or welding needs or the model of your robots and how to use it after probably you purchase from us in, a, in another country. Is it easy to use or train your operators to uh, integrate with their robots? This is Jelly, welcome to Jelly Talk. This uh, topic I will bring you to the details of our seam tracking sensors. So where we are standing here is the DMK Laser Processing Center. We, are, uh, we just moved to a new place. Well, we have many of uh, laser machines in, uh, and we're going to have more. So when you visit us, you will see all kinds of lasers working on different kinds of materials in real with different kinds of motion system, like this multi-axis gantry and this is a six-axis robot with the three kilowatt laser welder and also with the seam tracking sensor that we're going to talk about today. For a seam tracking sensor, it's mainly composed of three main parts. The first is a dialed red beam. So first we need to uh, give a line of a red beam uh, move along with the welding path that you want to follow. And the second part is a camera, which is uh, that, you know, when this, during the movement, when this red beam laser will be, you know, you, you shoot on the workpiece, the, now is in 90 degrees, but you can also on 60 or other degrees, well, it will be reflected to the, which is the eyes, or we call it the, the camera, that will catch this red light. And this will form, we call it the theory used on seam tracking is the laser triangulation theory. So, well, you get the space of this triangle space that you can calculate on the software that how uh, is the shape of the seam that you're tracking with because with this laser triangulation theory you can simultaneously calculate how the, the, the seam looks like. So the third part is that after this calculation and you correct the path because every time you join the piece maybe they have you know the distortion of the heat generated during the welding or the cut in the last uh, procedure is not precise so you lost the it doesn't look like that you programmed so when you after you calculate it and then is the sensor will feed back to the robot's movement and then it will correct you know it will just follow the real shape of this thing so this guarantees you know much improved your production quality so like you produce 1000 pieces today and with this same tracking and you always follow the real parts of the workpiece and then you got probably 99 percent um, finished products in the right quality so this, this is simply how it works so after the theory introduction now we came to which i show you how it works so this is the actual welding you know to work piece we join them together and you need to weld follow this for example if the next piece that it doesn't go like uh, perfect it moves a little bit and then you will see in the screen 
Well, the original seam was like this, very small, and when you discharge it, then it becomes bigger. So this speed and following of the, of the welding seam is really quick. Um, so this is simply how it works. And our sensor can work with many type of uh, welding paths, which, you know, like uh, V, um, this is a line, linear. And we can do many types, you know, probably weld here angle. And this is the inner angle, outer angle, and, the, and there are many, you know, 23. And, and, and we can also uh, develop or customize according to what in real production in your uh, welding requirements. And some customer also asked me, you know, like if I produce a welding a cabinet or a complicated big piece and I need to, uh, I, I need to multiple like five or six type of weldings, you can just simply program it in your robot uh, uh, programs and you just simply select uh, welding um, profile one or two or three. So you don't need to, you know, reprogram it. You just simply um, choose it in the robot control. And this, um, for these, you know, some specifications, um, it's really very cost effective because it gives very high seam tracking accuracy up to 0.1 millimeter for the same and super fast speed, 100 times of uh, scanning every second. And then it also has a strong anti-interruption, like it supports 500 ampere current. If you do with the teak welding or you know arc welding, you need very um, big current, which can cause interruption for the working of the sensor, but this has very strong um, protection from that and also 10 kilowatt lasers current. So it's a very strong part with a very affordable price. Um, and the last point, but not the least, is that it can work with more than 12 brands of robots. Of course, including the four biggest brands, KUKA, FANUC, ABB, and the Panasonic, um, you know. Also, of course, it works very well with Chinese brand of robots like this one, Everett and uh, Aston, we can also give you recommend recommendations. We provide you one-stop solution with the robots, with the laser, or even with the TIG, ARC, you know, all kinds of welders and the same tracking and push-pull wear feeding. So this is the, it, um, a, a big advantage. It, it, you know, you can also only buy this sensor and we can uh, teach you how to uh, integrate with your current robots sitting in your factory. So we also, you know, besides one-stop solution or provide you each part, we can also give you customization solution, like you tell us what you want to weld, and then maybe you don't need robots. If the work is very small, probably you need this automation like the desktop module, and we can also integrate the sensor with that. Simply what we, will, we can provide. Many of you that may be curious or anxious about the co real cost of this sensor and how, you know, how simply you can use it or if you can apply it to production. I just want to give you an example to explain. You know, um, before we launch in this sim tracking with this price, um, we've been, you know, getting many inquiries that people asking. I, you know, I was not very familiar with this product because we mainly focus on lasers, uh, all kind of lasers, not very much in detail of this uh, little sensor on that. Well, we got so many inquiries that asking about this and we quote many times, well, we didn't succeed in sale. I think one reason is that because we are not so familiar with it and most important, it, it was all still expensive. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, in this March, in the Laser Munich in Shanghai, I talked deeply with the owner of this sim tracking and uh, I think uh, not me persuaded him, but he decided to a uh, very big decrease of the selling price of this sensor, and which made me very excited. And then 
I recall all that inquiries and including one of the Korean customers and with this new price he's very much interested and he fly to us in the next day and then he check the sim tracking working you know he only bought this sim tracking not any other things because his production now is suffering this problem a lot so he's in very urgent need of this sensor and that he bought just this sensor. Then he back to Korea, he bring this part back and that was a vacation I think in April in China. Well, is uh, because he need to redo his robot, um, uh, we send them the software and uh, he need to assemble it himself. We didn't send technicians there. So everything they do with our help online and now it's in their production. So I want to use this example to, uh, to tell you that it's uh, not that mysterious and uh, you can do it with you know, general knowledge of the robots programming things. So um, this is all about the sim tracking today. And uh, we, if you have any questions or you want to ask or you want to check, you can send us the drawings of your workpiece or the current situation of your workshop with robots or even without robots, we can give you some cold ideas or solution. Welcome, stay tuned. Thank you.